Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about what are widgets and sidebars. So let's take a look at widgets. So you must have probably used it if, if you are already a theme developer, but let's just go over it quickly. So a widget is a PHP object that outputs some HTML. The same kind of widget can be used for multiple times on the same page and widgets can save data in the database and they're saved in options table. A set of widgets is included with the default WordPress installation. So I'm going to show you in a moment which are the widgets which are included by default and then you can also register some extra widgets by your theme or your plugin as well. So take a look at this. So if you go to WordPress dashboard and if you go to appearance widgets, these are the available widgets that are that are there by default. And if you want to register your own, you can certainly do that. So you can see there are archive widgets which displays list of archives. There's audio widget, so you can add some audio into it. There's calendar widget categories. You can add some custom HTML into the custom HTML widget you can add images, gallery, etc. So these are some of the default widgets available and we're also going to learn about how would you register your own widget uh, if you want to. So now comes the sidebar. Now if you have created a widget or if there's a widget available by default, where do, you, where do you put them? Well, you put them in sidebars. So the area where the widgets are added is called a sidebar. So you can see over here, this is our sidebar and you can see that it contains three widgets currently which is gallery text and categories so widget areas called sidebar provide a way for the users to customize their site a sidebar can appear on multiple pages or on only one page adding sidebar is optional which means it's up to you whether you want to have a sidebar on the theme or not however if you do this means users can add content to the widget areas through customizer or widgets admin panel so what we just saw this one so this is your widgets admin panel and you can also go into customize and you also have option there to add widgets so these are two places where you can add widgets the user can add widgets so how do we register a sidebar well to register a sidebar you just call a function called register sidebar and this helps you register a single sidebar if you have multiple sidebars in a theme let's say there's a sidebar uh, on a single post page and then there's a sidebar in the footer as well then you can use this function which is register sidebars which allows you to register multiple sidebars so this register sidebar function allows you to pass certain parameters if the parameters are the same for all your sidebars then probably you can use register sidebars function but if the parameters are slightly different then you can use register sidebar to register them multiple times uh, how would you display them? Well, to display them, there are two steps. The first one is create a file called sidebar.php, which is your sidebar template. And then you call the function called dynamic sidebar inside of it. And then to call this template, you can use the get sidebar function. If you have multiple sidebar in your theme or in your, on your site, then you can either create a file with different slug which say slidebar dash name dot php so let's say you have two sidebars primary and secondary so you can create a template called sidebar dash primary dot php and you, for the first sidebar content and then for the second one you can create sidebar dash secondary dot php to contain the content of the second sidebar so sidebar dot php basically contains the code of your sidebar and if you want to go ahead and call these templates so that it renders, you just have to call the function called get sidebar and that will call this template for you. So with that, we have understood what these are, what the widgets and the sidebars are, and let's get into action and start registering them onto our theme. So in the next video, we are going to go ahead and register the sidebars and I'm going to show you step by step how you do that in your theme. All right. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And this is the repository where you will see, get all of the code for the theme. 
and thanks to all the lovely people who have given me stars for this repository. If you do like my work then please star my repository and also nominate me for the GitHub stars by going on to stars.github slash nominate. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.